In 2022, as a newly arrived international student trying to navigate life in Portsmouth, Lady Life thoughtlessly threw one of her curve balls at me. Imprinted on that ball was a single word. Can sa. Fighting for my life and keeping all hope alive, last summer I discovered the race for life. I resolved this year I was going to run that race. Now come with me as I show you how I was able to achieve that feat. I had underestimated the impact of cancer and what it could do. And as a former runner, I figured I'll just run. Is it not just to run? But then I found out I couldn't run. I tried it and I almost collapsed. So I looked for alternatives, which was cross training. I even learned how to ride a bike for my strength and resistance. A race week made me scared and jittery because of the pains I had pains, my knees, fatigue, imbalance and all that. But don't ask me how I got to the start line. And I did exceed my fundraising target by 25%. Running, jogging, walking, panting, huffing. I came close, so close to quitting. But thanks to my son and social prescriber, but thanks to all the cheerleaders, I kept at it. I kept at it. I kept pushing. There were bands playing music, trying to encourage, and everything until I saw the finish line. That was so emotional that I cried. <laughs> now yours might not be cancer, but whatever life throws at you, when that curveball suddenly swings onto your bend, what will you do? Call up and die or fight? <laughs>